Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to it if you're new. Welcome back to Fredbear and Friends uh, Left to Rot. Last one we were, uh, last part we ended up on the segment with Nightmare Masuki and that one other character. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. A uh, test room number one, that's what it's called. Alright, now we couldn't really figure out what was in this room, but there should be an exit connected to the room. Once you go through the exit, you may have fun with that. Alright, last part, the reason why we kind of got stuck on this part was because of Nightmare Mousuki being a bit of a pain in the butt. So we're gonna take a little bit extra care here. I wish it was a little bit easier control to move, but I guess not. Like, I wish it was W and A to move instead of having to do arrows. But hey, that... <laughs> I'm not the game developer. I can't do much anything when it comes to that. Oh, hello. I, For some reason, I kind of just blanked out there for a second. Oh, there we go. That works. That works a lot better. For some reason, I was just clicking it. But clicking and holding actually does so much better. I mean, it probably... <laughs> I wasn't looking at the thing properly. And it probably did say, hey, make sure to click and hold. I was, about to, I was straight up about to just flash that right door. For no reason. There we go, okay. Quickly get the vent to go up a little bit. This is why I'm having trust issues. <laughs> I don't know where he is or what he's doing. There we go. I'm kind of just hoping that the vent doesn't actually just go down slowly as we are dealing with the uh, him and this little thing on the wall. The weird thing is, I don't even know why this is here or if it's even connected to anything. Probably is. That's actually quite a nice feature, to be honest. Actually, a quite nice of uh, a mechanic in a way. There you are. Not a lot of fan games have this, or actually, even just the main games themselves either. There you are. I felt like I heard footsteps there. Probably did. <laughs> the textures is weird. I gotta say, why... Why is there this type of fit in this room? <laughs> it is such a weird design. Like, you think it would be like a normal air fit, right? No. <laughs> they got a full air shaft in their room. Nobody's gonna question that, huh? Why? <laughs> I know it's for like the sign of the level and everything, but still. So where's he at? Masuki. There you go. I was about to say, I'm not letting you jump scare me. I like to take care of you before I go and move towards the vent. Okay, thank you actually. Probably should raise up my volume a little bit. I do have both sides on, yes. But it is low. My volume is low. Why, you may ask? Because sometimes some games are really loud, sometimes they're low. So, I'm not going to be pulling a Fusion Z Gamer and just have one headphone off. That could, yes. That is not what I'd like to do. Anyways. go i really like this i kind of feel like this could easily be like made for like a fnaf 4 remake or something man this would actually be quite cool in that kind of regard i mean i don't know how you'd necessarily make it challenging where's he at there you go but 
Wait, does it actually go down? I, I feel like I've had it up a little bit farther than this. There we go, got you out the way. I, I could be just losing my mind, but it feels like it has been higher than that. Or it was higher than that, whatever. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Uh, <laughs> I could have easily done the uh, moist critical stuff there. Been like, woo, woo, baby. That's what it's all about. <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. I can tell that this one is like requires so much patience. Gotta make sure that that little dude's wound up. Gotta make sure that this mouse seeky guy is not gonna kill you. I mean, I don't mind flashing people, but uh, <laughs> when it is like a seven foot tall nightmare mouse, <laughs> like a animatronic mouse that is like that, nah, nah, dog, <laughs> I am good. I like to keep my pin in my pants. <laughs> in my, I like to keep them in my boxer. <laughs> Maurice, I can't move it, move it. There you go. But I can still flash. Come on, baby. Come on. How much farther? <laughs> I feel like that's a good opportunity to do the, uh, that's what she said type of joke. There you are. Doing all right. God. This. Oh, I was about to say, this is so tedious. Well, he made it to the exit, and I just... Oh. Why did that actually jump scare me? <laughs> actually... Oh, why is it... Either in a dingy area... I'm confused. Why is the lights doing that? And I <laughs> and I just uh, assume that it is how the lights are meant to be. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, slash injuries, slash death, slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. Night. First we will discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound cues. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd-pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand... Yeah, screw it. Just gonna... S <laughs> it's basically FNAF 3 stuff. Oh, it's best say... Okay, there we go. I, I prefer not to be sitting there and listening to the tape. I already heard it from FNAF 3, so might as well just... Uh, hello, hello. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper suit handling techniques. Okay. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring locks located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments to position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move and speak. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring lines oh. inside the suit. Do not touch the spring <laughs> on, on some kind of substance. How it can move. Well, not really move. You can look back and forth. Yo. <laughs> I think we just passed out. We survived the timer. Oh, God. Wait, we had to... And oh, we got a monitor. Oh, okay. This is how we. Interesting. Right. I think the only cameras we really need at the moment is just our fit cameras, actually. Because it does not seem like anything else is important. So. 
Dang, okay, they look really odd. Let's say odd. They look very fascinating, to say the least. All I can really see properly is Bonnie and Freddy. Oh god, they look really rotten to the core. <laughs> I say rotten, they look like they've just been melted. <laughs> or stretched out like one of those rubber things. Oh, I, I shouldn't have been talking mad smack. Freddy's gone. Freddy. Hello? Oh, hi. All I heard was the fit noise. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Something's not right here. Oh, she is gone. Okay. Freddy. Freddy. <laughs> Where are you at? I just realized that the glass is broken. So there was glass here at some point. Huh. Where is he at? He just straight up disappeared. Uh, he's probably gonna just like show up in the fin. Unannounced. Maybe. <laughs> That's my guess. He's gonna show up in the fin. So. Oh, hi. Never mind, he's not gonna just randomly pop in my fin like Chica did. <laughs> like, I'm just staring at him like, hey. Oh, you know what, man? You want a cup of tea? <laughs> you want a cup of tea a lot? She can the fin, you know? Oh, there you are. Hello. What happens if both fins are closed? Or, I, I say closed, deactivated. Does our toxicity go up really quick, or what happens? Hello. I, I kind of... Oh, Foxy's here. Hi. I'm glad to see that our... Freddy's just standing there. Oh, that's a nice attention to detail. <laughs> he's, he's the fit... Yeah, great. Hello. Oh, we're halfway there now. That's cool. Alright. Well then. Wait, can we actually... Oh, that's cool. We can actually turn around while we, uh... I we actually like this. I kind of feel like we're not going to hear them one time and they're going to just get through and kill me. How are you back already, Freddy? I did not mean to rhyme there at all. And he's already in the fence. Wait a minute. What if we keep the fence shut or deactivate or whatever? Are we safe or would we be safe? Because like to some extent that could actually been exploited to some extent. Okay, Freddy. Don't know where Freddy is, though. I do feel like he is somewhat nearby. Probably is somewhere nearby. Where is Bonnie at? I just realized that. Unless that is him there. I've not seen any of the. Oh hi. Bonnie and Foxy are the ones I'm kind of worried about. Uh, never mind. Only Foxy now. I saw him for a split second there. Hi, Freddy. Let's open that. <laughs> I'm surprised none of the characters are mask uh, mandated. Hi. Go away. Thank you. That, that does still work. Maybe. <laughs> I could be wrong. That should have still helped. Slightly. With the AC one hand. Ah, oh, there's a little foxy plushie right there. Just realized that. 
I, I saw that. I didn't know what it was. So we got a minute to go. I should have a minute to go. Pretty. Oh, hi, Chica. You're about to be in my vent, are you? Aren't you? It'd be nice if I could use proper English. Because that is my only lingua. Oh, hi. I <laughs> like I'm just like, oh, hi. Completely unfazed by what is happening. Hi. Da 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 I didn't realize we were an architect. <laughs> oh, hi. Hello there. Today's lesson will be going over spring lock suit cleaning. Part of Fazbear Entertainment's motto is being clean with a bit of sheen. Okay. They really need to work on that one. But you know, safety and cleanliness comes first. Yes. So, first of all, make sure that you have correctly separated the suit parts, as shown in the diagram on page 124 of the employee manual. Well, I hope Make I sure did. that you also have the parts laid out on a table. You should be able to easily clean the parts. Cleaning the parts is a simple task, really. Just start out by getting a can of our recently manufactured fast spray, which can slowly soak and sparkle the suit over the time span of about six hours, just in time for the next meal. So go ahead and start spraying the suit, making sure that no electronics were left inside of the suit after removal. Imagine this was eventually like evolved into what we have in Ultimate Custom Night. Not Ultimate Custom Night. Uh, let's hit the, uh, the, the fast bray in. Uh, what's it called? Help want it. Oh, yeah, it's this one. Hi. Uh, so, suit must be sent to the upper thing here. Being a witch, where's it at? Press return to send it up. Only when its eyes are not glowing. Oh, okay. I had this to do this. Control for you. You still have your eyes glowing. Oh, that's nice. I like that. There you are. H. Ah, sucker. Oh, hi. <laughs> That's quite shocking. <laughs> Wait, isn't the Freddy character, like, gonna just slowly rise up? On the opposite side of my window? That's how he works, right? So that's how the security bounty works, though. That's that. Obviously. Oh, hi. Go back. To wherever you are. Oh, hi. Okay. Yeller. I can't see. Why did you take my cameras? Hello? Thank you. Okay. At least you... <laughs> at least I didn't do that while I was there. Could have been bad. Where'd he go? Wait. We're getting closer. That's the thing. Ah, oh, why do you have to do that right now? I was about to do you. Wait. <laughs> Not what I meant. Not what I meant. One of these days, I feel like somebody's gonna just make a compil uh, compil compilation of me saying like the most absurd things. And it's gonna be like over 20 minutes long. 
Why do you gotta be? Ah, oh, you suck. <laughs> you suck, suit. Has to have his eyes glowing. <laughs> Bruh. I like this, though. I will admit, I like this. It is quite nice to have such a different take on FNAF 1. I mean, yeah, it's the FNAF 1 map, but quite different in a way, too. And he's gone. Can I return you? Stay there. <laughs> Please stay like that. For at least a second longer. Hello. There. Have you a paper? Please go away. Go cut onions or tomatoes or whatever you're going to be cutting somewhere else, please. Anywhere but here. <laughs> Prefer not to have you so close with that. Are you... Hello? I don't know. I hope that's over his eyes. Hi. <laughs> it's like we're shocking him with a car battery. Where'd you go? Yeah. Oh. Freddy. Freddy. You okay, Freddy? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, hi. You're back already. <laughs> Hey there, back again. Da 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 da. Hey. <laughs> that feels so weird. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, that was fast. What sucks is that he does his eyes before I can even get the stuff back. Never mind, got him. What happens if I actually do this while his eyes are glowing? That's what I'm curious about. Freddy's not here. That is good. Hopefully we can get him this round, uh, time around. No, where'd he go? Oh, he's in the, this one. Come on. Ah. No. Bonnie, go ask him. <laughs> go ask him a question, mate. Imagine just seeing Freddy's top hat. Speaking of the devil, actually. <laughs> Alright, Bonnie, come on. Oh, you're still there. Okay. Good, good, good. Wait, where's he at? No, come on. We're so close. Kinda half expected that to happen. Him to be here. Okay, we're constantly going back and forth. Yeah, there we go. Should be Should be the last thing unless he decides to be a pain in the butt. Come on. Oh, really, last second. Wow. It's like kids. <laughs> they behave and then last second they decide. Nah, not gonna listen. Freddy's like the one that likes to play hide and seek. <laughs> Bonnie's the one that likes to just do whatever. Oh, he's here. Hello. Bonnie's the one with the shocking background. <laughs> And Fredbear is just the one that likes to be a pain in the butt. Ah, yes. Hello. Hey, you're l lower that time. Uh, obviously, you cannot have him get too close. Should still be there, right? Can we get you to go to the office? That's all I ask. I wasted it, didn't I? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> I 
Bonnie, go whack him. Go do something. Be helpful. Hi. Don't know what I did, but okay, I did that. I think he's coming back. Wait, where's he gone? So it should be this camera. I didn't get him, did I? No, I did not. Well then. I was actually hoping to stop right after uh, test room two. But hey, you know what? It's good that we even tried it at least. Anywho, this has been your captain speaking. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, hope to catch y'all around in the next one. And until then, stay chaotic, but not too chaotic. And, uh, yeah. Catch y'all around on the flip side. Bye-bye.